How's everybody doing? I'm Zach with Blades LLC. Today we are going to be going through the Leaf cleanup trailer. It's uh, our 14 foot sure track dump trailer. Blades truck. We're going to be going through it front to back here. So uh, what should we start with the front or the back? Oh, let's start in the back. All right, so nice double doors on here, the barn door style. It also flips up kind of like a dump truck. We don't use that for this, but we have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two by sixes up the wall. This is a four by eight sheet of plywood. Uh, cross cut down to the width of the dump trailer three hinges on the top we have two by sixes on the top supporting it crosswise uh, I had some angle iron on here because we just had uh, the bottom four on and we just recently took it up as you can see a little bit further this should all be one but uh, we did recently add uh, three more on to the top and then like I said the bar over over the top there just to support that But yeah, this thing flips open when the doors swing I'm not gonna open it up because it is it is actually full right now, but We'll move on to the hole over here, which we have cut in there and uh, if you guys saw in the video earlier on here there was some debris coming out the top of this here and uh, we do need to open this up about an inch so a total of uh, two inches in diameter about all the way around so we're gonna take an inch off boom all the way around but yeah we have the billy goat debris loader on here with the piranha blades this is the 18 horse I believe this is a 10 inch hose uh, they do make a foot and uh, yeah it's got the rather than the round tube I prefer this style it's a little more heavy duty uh, they were having some problems I believe with them wearing here so problem fixed awesome job there but yeah it's got the Vanguard on it 18 super solid motor uh, moving down the sides here we have our um, tarp it's a mesh tarp it's draped over the top we got it fastened up there i don't know if you can see that or not probably not uh we got it fastened with washers and i believe these are called leg bolts i should know that i worked at a hardware store for a couple years so i got them fastened in we might i kind of ran out of them so i might get a few more for here just to finish it off just kind of utilize what we had today we we got to try uh run this uh trial by fire today just had to had to pick up a humongous pile from like a four acre dethatching job so it was sucking up uh thick heavy wet grass uh mixed with some leaves uh in the front here so i have the roll up uh tarp in here and it's actually ran up the front because uh, we don't I don't want debris floating through here. I don't know if you can kind of see it back there. Yeah, you can um, It's all the way up the front. We don't want debris coming through there So that's kind of why we did that we fastened it up behind this top board uh, We got yeah, like I said the tarp in here. Uh, I wanted to run this in an ideal world um, all the way up to the front here, but I wanted to be able to run this tarp all the way up and over uh, for regular use uh, When we're not using it for leaf so we haul a lot of brush and stuff too So kind of wanted to uh, be able to pull it up over the front or just stick it in behind it. So uh, It's kind of confusing to explain but That's my reasoning for it. So I should have pulled this forward, but we do have a piece of uh, industrial curtain here and it's just preventing stuff from coming through here. I am missing a chunk uh, about 18 inches wide here that we need to put in. I have it, it's just not here. It's actually at my grandparents' house. Uh, so I'll be grabbing that and we'll be finishing this off. But 
Yeah, I threw on a couple bungee cords uh, here just to get us through the job today. I had no idea how this thing was going to work out, so I'm glad we got to try it out. And uh, looks like we got a little bit here on this side, it snuck through somewhere. So I don't know. Overall, man, pretty slick. So this is a dual ram dump trailer. It's plenty enough for this. Uh, there are better ones, but. Like I said, it works, so why not? Uh, I do want to get some uh, LED lights mounted on the top here so we can see just because, man, it gets dark so early here. And oftentimes we don't get done until 5 o'clock with our cleanup, so uh, by that time it's starting to get really dark, so we want to put some LED lights on it yet. I'm not sure if that's going to happen this year or not, but definitely for next year, so... Oh man. Yeah, like I said, I wish we could have ran that uh, forward a little bit further if I'd have known. But yeah, we're going to end up lifting this whole thing off. I'm going to cut it off right here uh, when we're done with it in the spring. So I can just use it for uh, hauling around a skid steer again. And, uh, we do a lot of light landscaping work, so it gets, it gets used for just about everything, so... We will be taking it back off, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions about how I did this, how this thing works, uh, let me know. Uh, when I worked for um, my first lawn care company, uh, I actually worked for somebody else, and we ran a setup very similar to this, and it was just rock solid. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about what works and what doesn't, I pretty much know uh, what works. I do like the fact that the billy goat is mounted on the back rather than on the front. Man, it gives you a lot more freedom to work. Uh, you feel very pinched when you're in here working. You know, you might drive into your pile. It's between the truck uh, and the trailer, and you just feel very... I don't know, it feels very claustrophobic almost, feeling like you're trapped back there. And uh, if this truck's moving or whatever, you got to really be careful. It's almost a safety thing. I just highly recommend mounting it on the back. So that's that, guys. It's getting cold here. Uh, we're going to head inside. It's definitely going to freeze. There was ice in the bed of the truck today. So it's pretty cold here, obviously. But thanks for watching. We will see you guys on the next one.